Can you tell me which are the other great uh, puppet companies in North America or the world that you right that we now, should that we should that know? Exists. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you the names of all of them because there's some um, in, in former Eastern Europe that I can't pronounce. Right. But, you know, there are places like the Little Angel Theater in London, which is just celebrating its 50th anniversary. And they were in a bombed out temperance hall in Islington and uh, have done 50 years of great original work and presenting their own company and... Um, it's really exciting. It's my favorite place to go in London. Handspring from South Africa, who were already on the radar of, of the theater scene, but with Warhorse just became, you know, super. They're the rock stars right now. Of pup they really are. Um, there's a lot of interesting young puppetry starting because we're kind of getting over that period where everybody's building Muppets. For years and years, that's all you saw. But now there's a whole new movement of young puppeteers doing a, a stuff called Puppet Slams all over North America. And they get together in small theaters or cabaret spaces or bars. And, and it's kind of the new vaudeville. They do short cabaret pieces. And, uh, and it's actually being shepherded uh, and uh, uh, supported by a network uh, run by uh, Heather Henson, who's Jim Henson's youngest daughter. So the Henson family's commitment to exploration of puppetry beyond what they do has been extraordinary. So in North America, a lot of seed money and opportunity comes from the Henson Foundation, which is very interesting because it doesn't have to be this. Yeah. So there's, there's pockets of stuff going on. I'm still waiting for the new renaissance to start. And I don't think it'll start until young puppeteers figure out one missing thing which is the interpretation of text. Puppetry has always been, in the last 25, 30 years, a form of physical theater, things moving. You know, it's what we talked about, those big puppets before. It's all about movement. Uh, I'm going to get myself in trouble for saying this, but it keeps it in the prop end of the theater. And I don't build props. I make characters. So I want to see more young puppeteers embracing text and the interpretation of it through a puppet. And nobody's teaching that. No one's mentoring that. And most puppeteers uh, and most puppetry schools actually say puppets shouldn't talk. They actually say that. Puppets should never talk. They should just move around. Well, I think seeing a puppet move is interesting for about eight seconds but I want to see it do more than just move through space and being clever and simulating breathing. If it's simulating breathing, you should be able to do that in your pajamas. But to make a character look like it's thinking and to make it speak words and to interpret words, that's where we haven't gone in terms of puppetry. 